had to take a quick pause and call the number on this no trespassing sign. Uh, I guess from where the flood came through and flooded all this crap, it brought this sign along. I don't know where it came from, but it was laying face down in here. I just picked it up and I wanted to call and make sure, you know, try and get some permission before I actually just stepped on out here. Another big running rabbit. And I hadn't even got them into the brush pile right here. I wanted them. I wanted them here or and then all of them little saplings. But he got them in the reeds. So far that's where I've seen all these rabbits is holding up. Some of these rabbits are trying to circle. They're just running straight away. I guess they're got too used to running for coyotes. But I had two, two rabbits in 40 yards. I think 40 yards each other. I ain't even telling what else is laying right in here. I mean, this stuff looks pretty good. So this should be some good running this summer. Come over early in the mornings and run. Hit a snag. Yeah, man, this land's pretty opens up pretty good. But somebody's been right here doing some major work. Probably was nothing more than a, just cutting firewood, but we'll just come back for it later. The way the weather had been, it was a little bit farther than 40 yards, good 80 yards, I guess. Yeah, I was trying to get the dogs to come over here and <clears throat> I showed you exactly where buddy got the jump. The rabbit must have been sitting here along this somewhere, I don't know. But this right here is where he started barking. Right next to this tree. So it had to be laying up here where he had smelled it from this morning. Got it down in there and right down that tree right there is laying down. That's where they got the jump right beside it. So, pretty proud of that. And they're taking the rabbits a good ways away. Like I said, it does don't sound like they're circling at all. It's just a clean people down here camping. They're camping and fishing at night. Dang, he's way out. Coon hunting. Be a good spot in here to do it. There. I don't know how far they are, but I barely can hear Chief. Chief has a pretty loud mouth, so. I don't hear Buddy no more. So they probably lost Buddy. And their Buddy in a minute. Yeah, all this right here is not filled trees. And it's flooded. All this mess was flooded. Uh, uh, that roadway up there. The 
to where it almost actually came up as high as that roadway. Um, if I'm not mistaken, back. Oh, they got it back. Let me show you this tree over here. If I'm not mistaken, over here, you know, right across this spot, the water got right here. Which is pretty deep, I mean, compared to the embankment, it didn't get so bad on this side of the highway. On this side of the embankment, you know. But on the other side is where I live. It was, I don't know how to explain it, y'all. I mean, it was just horrible. Couldn't, there was nothing, everything flooded. Everything from basically this dike, four by eight, nine miles, you had to be in a boat to get that far. I mean, literally, if you follow this dike around, you could drive your truck around this dike, possibly, at one point in time, most of the time, yeah. Um, rest of the time, you was in a boat. Uh, like I said, on the other side of this dike, back, you was in a boat, or you weren't getting around at all. Um... Yeah. I see why. Oh, there's a perfect example. You guys can see right here the gray line and everything else look kind of greens. Uh, all the green down here is just new bush. That gray line comes through here. That's the water line. That's how high the water was over here. Perfect example. And something means we're walking through here a lot. But yeah, they got the rabbit back moving. He must be on a chick. He turned. Cause they're getting quiet. But I'm proud of two rabbits so Pretty good. Right here in this little bit of stuff. 